download our app One Islam TV now. Available now on these platforms. Have you ever spent hours scrolling through your phone, mindlessly jumping from one social media app to another, only to find yourself wondering where the time went? For many Muslim students, this scenario has become all too familiar. The constant bombardment of digital content and the endless distractions of the online world can lead to what some people call brain rot, a state where your mind becomes dull, unfocused, and overload with trivial information. As a result, you may find that this unhealthy relationship with the digital world not only affects your productivity and academic life, but also weakens your Iman, faith, and connection with Allah. Understanding Brain Rot The age of technology, we are surrounded by screens, notifications, and streams of information. What begins as a harmless activity, checking your phone for updates or scrolling through social media to relax, can quickly become a habit that takes over your daily routine. Brain rot refers to the gradual decline in cognitive abilities caused by the overconsumption of shallow, meaningless content. Instead of engaging in activities that stimulate deep thinking, personal growth, or spiritual reflection, the brain becomes accustomed to fast-paced, superficial entertainment that requires minimal effort. For a Muslim student, this overconsumption of mindless digital content can slowly erode key aspects of life. Academic performance may suffer, and more importantly, a weakened state of faith may emerge. It becomes difficult to focus on your studies, reflect on the teachings of Islam, or even engage in daily worship with a sincerity and mindfulness that are required. The destructive effects of brain rot are real, and without addressing the problem, it can have a long-lasting impact on both your worldly success and your relationship with Allah. How brain rot affects a Muslim student's life. Number one, loss of time and productivity. One of the most obvious ways brain rot manifests is through the loss of time. For many Muslim students, managing time between studies, family obligations, and religious duties is already a challenge. Add excessive screen time into the mix, and the situation becomes worse. Hours that could have been spent studying for an exam, reading the Quran, or performing salah are now wasted on distractions like YouTube videos, social media scrawling, or binge watching shows. This not only disrupts a student's academic progress, but also steals precious moments that could have been used for spiritual growth. Time is one of the most valuable resources Allah has given us. In Surah Al-Asr, Allah emphasizes the importance of time. By the time, indeed mankind is in loss, except for those who have believed and done righteous deeds and advised each other to truth and advised each other to patience. When you waste time on mindless distractions, it becomes difficult to achieve the balance between your dunya, worldly life, and your deen. As a result, you may find yourself falling behind in both areas, causing frustration, stress, and guilt. Number two, distraction from salah and ibadah. The constant engagement with digital content can be highly addictive, and it becomes easy to neglect your daily ibadah, acts of worship, whether it's delaying your salah, forgetting to make dua, or being too mentally distracted during prayer. Brain rot interferes 
with your connection to Allah. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him emphasized the importance of being present during salah, saying the worst type of thief is the one who steals from his own prayer. Such a person does not complete his bowing and prostration properly. When your mind is preoccupied with the latest trends, memes, or viral content, it becomes difficult to fully focus on your salah. Instead of experiencing the tranquility and peace that prayer is supposed to bring, your thoughts wander and the quality of your worship decreases. This not only weakens your iman, but also leaves you feeling spiritually unfulfilled. 3. Weakening of Iman and Spiritual Connection Brain rot doesn't only affect your productivity and ability to focus. It also seeps into your spiritual life. As Muslims, we are encouraged to engage in activities that nourish our hearts and minds, such as reflecting on the Qur'an, studying the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and engaging in dhikr, remembrance of Allah. However, when your mind is constantly distracted by meaningless content, it becomes harder to maintain that connection with Allah. Iman needs constant nourishment. Just like a plant withers without water, your faith can weaken when you neglect it. Spending excessive time on digital distractions can cause a person to become lazy in their religious duties, leading to a slow decline in the strength of their Iman. Over time, this can result in a person feeling disconnected from their religion, experiencing doubts, or losing motivation to engage in worship. It is important to remember that true contentment and peace come from a strong connection with Allah. In Surah Rad, Allah says, Verily in the remembrance of Allah do hearts find rest. When you allow brain rot to take over, you lose out on the spiritual fulfillment that comes from remembering Allah and engaging in acts of worship. The temporary satisfaction that comes from scrolling through social media or watching endless videos cannot replace the lasting peace that comes from a strong relationship with your Creator. Allahu Akbar. The Long-Term Consequences of Brain Rot Diminished Critical Thinking and Learning Abilities For a student, one of the greatest dangers of brain rot is the impact it has on critical thinking and learning. When your brain is constantly fed with shallow content that requires little to no mental effort, it becomes harder to engage in deep thinking, analysis, or problem solving. This can directly affect your academic performance, making it difficult to grasp complex concepts, retain information, or perform well on exams. Furthermore, over time, the brain becomes wired to seek quick, easy entertainment rather than engage in challenging tasks. This can lead to procrastination, lack of focus, and even a sense of dread when faced with academic responsibilities. As a Muslim student, the pursuit of knowledge is a duty. And neglecting your education not only affects your future career, but also your ability to contribute positively to the Ummah. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim. When brain rot takes over, it becomes harder to fulfill this obligation as one's ability to learn and grow diminishes. Spiritual guilt and mental health struggles. Another consequence of brain rot is the spiritual and emotional toll it can take. As you become more aware of the time wasted on meaningless activities, you may begin to feel guilt and shame for neglecting your duties as a Muslim. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy, low self-esteem, and even despair. You may feel distant from Allah, unsure of how to regain your connection, and overwhelmed by the thought of making changes. 
Mental health struggles can also arise from the excessive use of digital media. This constant comparison to others on social media, exposure to negative news, and the addictive nature of entertainment can lead to anxiety, depression, and feelings of loneliness. These struggles further weaken your iman as it becomes harder to find peace and contentment when your mind is constantly clouded by negativity. How to combat brain rot and strengthen your iman. Set boundaries with technology. The first step in combating brain rot is to set clear boundaries with your use of technology. In today's digital age, the overconsumption of social media, entertainment apps, and mindless content can quickly dull the mind, weaken productivity, and impact your spiritual health. Brain rot refers to the mental sluggishness that arises when you spend too much time on shallow activities that do not nourish your intellect or soul. Setting boundaries is essential to regain control and restore balance in your life. To start, it's important to limit the time you spend on social media and entertainment apps. These platforms are designed to keep you scrolling for hours with endless streams of content. And without limits, they can easily take over your day. A practical solution is to set daily screen time limits on your phone or device. Most smartphones have built-in features that allow you to monitor your app usage and set time restrictions for specific apps. Use these tools to limit your exposure to distractions and ensure that you are spending your time wisely. Additionally, there are apps available that are specifically designed to block distracting websites or apps for a set period, helping you stay focused on tasks that require concentration. Once you've limited your screen time, the next step is to make a conscious effort to engage in activities that require deep thinking and personal growth. Rather than spending hours scrolling through content that offers little value, use your time productively by engaging in intellectual and spiritual beneficial activities. Reading Islamic books, studying the Quran, or attending religious lectures are excellent ways to stimulate your mind while strengthening your iman. Not only do these activities require focus and contemplation, but they also serve as reminders of your purpose as a Muslim and the importance of constantly seeking knowledge. By setting boundaries with technology and replacing mindless entertainment with meaningful activities, you can avoid brain rot and enrich both your mind and soul. These steps will help protect you from mental sluggishness allowing you to maintain clarity, focus, and a stronger connection with Allah. Prioritize Salah and Ibadah No matter how busy or distracted you become, prioritizing your Salah and other acts of worship should always remain at the forefront of your daily routine. Salah is the cornerstone of a Muslim's relationship with Allah and it serves as a spiritual reset throughout the day. In an age where distractions like social media and endless digital content can lead to brain rot, a state of mental dullness from excessive mindless consumption, Salah acts as an anchor, pulling you away from these harmful distractions and refocusing your mind on what truly matters. One effective strategy to prevent brain rot is to set reminders for prayer times. The structure of the five daily prayers helps you break up long periods of distraction, giving you a moment to pause, disengage from digital clutter, and reconnect with Allah. These breaks during the day can reduce the overstimulation caused by constant exposure to superficial online content 
allowing your brain to reset and refocus. Praying in congregation when possible can further enhance this by encouraging mindfulness and a sense of community, helping you avoid isolation and detachment that often comes with excessive screen time. Before each salah, taking a few minutes to clear your mind and focus on your intention helps train your brain to disengage from distractions. In today's world, where it's easy to lose hours to mindless scrolling, this practice of intentional focus allows your brain to rest. Instead of feeding your mind with shallow content, you're now dedicating time to spiritual reflection, dhikr, remembrance of Allah, and meaningful worship. Prioritizing salah not only strengthens your connection with Allah, but also helps you combat the mental fog and disconnection that brain rot creates. When Allah is at the center of your life, the distractions of the dunya, world, lose their grip on you. This focus brings balance to your day, keeps you mentally sharp, and protects you from the harmful effects of overindulging in digital distractions. Seek knowledge and personal growth. As a Muslim student, your pursuit of knowledge should go beyond academic excellence and also encompass your religious growth. In Islam, seeking knowledge is highly emphasized, not only for worldly success, but also to deepen your understanding of Allah's guidance and strengthen your relationship with Him. This encompasses all forms of knowledge, but it especially highlights the importance of Islamic knowledge for both personal and spiritual development. Make time in your daily schedule to study the Qur'an. The Qur'an is the ultimate source of guidance for Muslims, offering answers to life's challenges and helping you align your daily actions with the will of Allah. However, studying the Qur'an goes beyond just reading it. It requires reflection and contemplation of its meanings. Take time to understand the tafsir, interpretation of the verses, reflecting on how they apply to your life as a student and as a Muslim. Through consistent engagement with the Qur'an, you will develop not only a deeper understanding of Allah's message, but also an increased sense of peace and direction. Additionally, it is essential to learn about the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. His life serves as a practical example of how to embody Islamic principles in every aspect of life. By studying his seerah, biography, you can gain insights into how he dealt with hardships, interacted with others, and remain patient and steadfast in the face of challenges. This knowledge is especially valuable for students navigating academic and social pressures. You can apply the Prophet's teachings to your own life, finding solutions to modern day problems through the lens of his wisdom. Engage in discussions with fellow students or scholars to further deepen your understanding and strengthen your Iman. These discussions provide opportunities to ask questions, clear doubts, and engage ideas on various aspects of Islamic teachings. They also create a sense of community, reminding you that you are not alone in your spiritual journey. Seeking advice from scholars or mentors can help you gain a more profound understanding of complex topics. While conversations with peers can keep you motivated, and accountable in your pursuit of religious growth. Ultimately, your religious growth will complement your academic success, providing you with a sense of purpose and fulfillment that goes beyond worldly achievements. By making time for Islamic knowledge, you ensure that your spiritual well-being is prioritized along your academic progress strengthening your Iman and bringing you closer to Allah. Reflect 
and make dua. Taking time to reflect on your life and relationship with Allah is a crucial step in combating brain rot and distractions. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in activities that may seem harmless but ultimately pull you away from your religious obligations and weaken your iman. Reflecting regularly helps you assess whether the things you do on a daily basis, such as scrolling through social media, watching videos, or playing games, are bringing you closer to Allah or leading you astray. It's essential to ask yourself, are my actions strengthening my connection to Allah? Or are they becoming obstacles in my spiritual journey? Dua, supplication, plays a powerful role in this process of self-reflection. Through sincere dua, you can seek Allah's guidance to help you identify what is good for you and what might be harmful. Ask Allah for the strength to resist distractions, the wisdom to prioritize your faith, and the ability to use your time in ways that benefit both your deen and dunya. The beauty of dua is that Allah is always ready to listen to those who turn to Him, no matter how far they have strayed. Remember, the more you ask for His help, the more He opens doors to lead you back to Him. Here is an example of a dua you can make. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in You from knowledge that does not benefit, from a heart that does not humble, from a soul that is not satisfied, from a supplication that is not answered. Guide me towards that which is good for my deen, my dunya, and my akhirah. And protect me from distractions that take me away from you. Ameen. This dua reminds us to seek beneficial knowledge and a heart that remains focused on Allah helping us regain our spiritual focus and protect ourselves from worldly distractions. Introducing the One Islam TV app, the ultimate destination to learn about Islam with hundreds of educational videos, lessons, and documentaries. Experience our seven YouTube channels in one place. All content is music-free. Download the One Islam TV app now from the Apple or Google Play Store today. Mm -hmm.